What it do, family? It's your boy, Cook Smoking the Building, man. About to come to y'all with another banger. Y'all already know what it is, man. First of all, I want to thank all my subscribers, everybody who helped support my vision and everything. I really do appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart, man. And I will continue to bring you guys content on a weekly basis, man. But let's go ahead and get straight to it, man. The Dallas Mavericks eliminate the Phoenix Suns in seven, man. I kind of told everybody that I had a feeling that this would happen after the Dallas Mavericks won game six. I sensed that, you know, Chris Paul would kind of, you know, choke up again. And we all know Chris Paul chokes in big games. And so he, he choked again. Shout out to the Dallas Mavericks. Shout out to Luka Donich. He had a, a 30 piece, had a really good game. A unsung hero. Spencer Dinwiddie, man. Uh, <laughs> Spencer, you know, he's a guy, he's kind of streaky, but he showed up when they when they really needed it and um, put up a 30-piece. Also, Jalen Brunson put up like 24 off the bench as well. So they had a really good game, you know, as far as role players are concerned. And then the Boston Celtics as well. They actually blew out the Milwaukee Bucks at home, and I kind of, you know, expected – this to happen, even though a lot of people were picking Giannis, I kind of, you know, seen the the writing on the wall when, when Jason Tatum was taking over in game six that, you know, it was going to be hard. And Grant Williams stepped up for them, hitting three after three after three. And so, you know, in these game seven, it's going to be a, a role player that, that steps up and it's going to be an unsung hero. But congratulations to both teams, the Dallas Mavericks and the Boston Celtics, man. Jason Tatum, Luka Donich. Two superstars that are going to be running the NBA for years to come, man. But um, let me know what y'all think about it, man. It's Cook Smoke, man. Turn up, man. Let's get it.